Thank you, Mr. Speaker. An explanation on this um, bill. A uh, racial and ethnic profiling occurs when law enforcement authorities target particular individuals based on their behavior, but rather on the basis uh, of personal characteristics such as race, ethnicity, national origin, or religion. Racial profiling is an unjust and ineffective method of law enforcement. It makes us less safe and secure, not more so. Racial and ethnic profiling is none nonetheless pervasive. It has been used by law enforcement authorities at the federal, state, and local level. Under this bill, law enforcement officers, that is state and local police and poli peace officers would be prohibited from using racial or ethnic profiling while engaging in their law enforcement duties. This includes when officers conduct traffic stops, pedestrian stops, interviews, ask questions, conduct investigations, frisk, pat downs, searches of individuals and property, data collection and inspection. This does not include when an officer acts on, on trustworthy information, reasonable, articulable suspicion to investigate a specific criminal event. This bill would allow any victim of racial or ethnic profile blame or the attorney general to bring an action for damages or for injunctive relief to stop the agency's improper actions. Current state law does not, I repeat, does not provide an individual cause of action for acts of racial profiling. Also note that um, the Division of Criminal Justice Services would be required to create a form for law enforcement agencies to use to compile data about investigative encounters and traffic stops with civilians. And a field of um, interrogation report may be filled out. Pertinent data about the investigative report, whether it determines a reasonable, articulable uh, suspicion is not on the form. So the information recorded would include such things like number of people stopped, the race, the ethnicity, national origin, uh, or the religion of such persons, um, whether the person was uh, searched or frisked, whether the stop resulted in an arrest or a citation, um, and the length of the stop, and the length of the stop. Again, just know that this is the same type of information that some police departments are currently required to, to record. Uh, this, so this would not impede law enforcement officers and their regular duties. In fact, protects a law enforcement officer against any lawsuit if he has legitimate reasons that it's reasonable to the investigative of a specific crime event. Um, I'll stop there.